take the cloud out of the equation. BitTorrent Sync sends your files directly from one computer to the other one. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm another street, and today I am showing you a personal file syncing service that is probably more secure than whatever you're using now. So, if you are on the internet at all, you have probably heard of BitTorrent. And a torrent is basically a, a file that is initially uploaded from one computer to another computer, and from those two computers to more computers. And torrents are basically a method of um, exchanging things with other computers, exchanging a specific file. Uh, when you go to download a torrent, two things are happening with your computer. Number one, you are downloading the torrent from anyone who already has the torrent. Now, initially, only one person has the torrent, but anyone who downloads the torrent will also begin seeding the torrent, and so you're downloading it from anyone who is seeding it, so including the original person if they're still seeding it, and anyone else who may have downloaded that torrent. At the same time, you are uploading that torrent to other people who are downloading the torrent. So, let's say you have one part of the torrent, uh, but you don't have another part. Somebody else might download one part of the torrent from you, they might download another part of the torrent from someone else, and basically what you have is a, a decentralized method of downloading things. And it's a really um, recursive technology that it, once you start a torrent, it's not going to go down very easily because when you put a file on a server and you download a file normally the file is only available on the server and anyone who downloads it from the server then has it but they keep it to themselves they don't give it out to more people uh... torrenting is different torrenting when you download a torrent what's happening is you are now becoming a server of the torrent until you close your BitTorrent software. And why I'm telling you what torrenting is, is because there's a new file syncing service that once again was introduced not very long ago um, called BitTorrent Sync. And what BitTorrent Sync does is it syncs files between multiple computers via BitTorrent technology. Now you may be using a cloud service like Dropbox, and I was actually going to make a video about the cloud and the internet um, like over a year ago, and over a year ago that would have been a hot topic. Now I'm not making a video about the cloud because it's kind of died down. Everyone knows what it is, and it's not, not really a hot topic, not really a buzzword anymore. But if you use cloud storage, such as Google Drive or Dropbox, um, one of the reasons people use these things is to sync files between computers. For instance, Dropbox. There are two ways you can use Dropbox. You can use Dropbox to get to your files from any computer on the internet. So if you're at a friend's house or at work or at school and you need to get to a file, you can sign into Dropbox on the internet and download any files you have in your Dropbox account. Now, there's another use people use Dropbox for, though. That would be syncing files between different computers. If you install the Dropbox client on Windows or Mac, or I think there's one for Linux. I hope there's one for Linux. Um, if you install the Dropbox client, then anything you drag into your Dropbox folder will automatically be uploaded to Dropbox and downloaded to any other computers that you have also signed into the client on. So BitTorrent Sync is designed to serve the latter purpose. The torrent sync does not let you get to your files online because your files aren't actually stored online, which is what makes it a whole lot more secure than cloud storage services. When you upload something to Dropbox or to Google Drive, um, you're not just sending it to other computers that you're signed into, and it, it's a pretty easy concept to get. I think most people using cloud services understand what they're doing. When you upload a file to Dropbox, you are sending your file to Dropbox's servers. When you upload a file to Google Drive, you're uploading a file to Google's servers. And that goes for any file sharing service. For shared, um, Box.net, Box.net is another one. So yeah, any of those, you are giving your file to a company. And if you're using that service, for instance, I use Dropbox to distribute my custom Minecraft mod pack. So I use Dropbox and I put stuff onto Dropbox for it to be available publicly. Some people, though, they put stuff onto Dropbox or to Google Drive or to Box.net because they want things available to them personally. Uh, they want things to sync between their different computers. And it does sync your files between different computers. Cloud services can do that. 
but you're giving your files to companies. If you upload a file to Google Drive, Google has your file. They can they can open it, they can read it, they can do whatever they want with it. They can sell it, um, and the government can get to it too, because the government can you know court order Google. So basically, you are relying on a company to keep your files safe, rather than keeping it in your own hands. When you upload something to the cloud, you're you're relying on a company to keep your files safe. BitTorrent Sync syncs your files between different computers without ever giving it to a third-party server, and that is monumental. That means that you can sync files between computers without putting it on a... I know it doesn't sound that that big, just saying it. It can do the exact same thing as Dropbox does. Wow, big whoop. The huge difference is in security. If you have secure files, if you are one of those tinfoil nut jobs, uh, which I put that around quotes, because some people actually don't understand where the security concern comes from, but personally, I like my files to belong to me. I don't like to give my files to other people. Uh, regardless of if the files are any use to other people or not, it doesn't matter to me. Personally, I don't like other people having my stuff. So, I use BitTorrent Sync. BitTorrent Sync, like I said, syncs files between computers without uploading it to the cloud. It goes directly from computer to computer using torrent technology. Now, I am not going to go too in-depth into how this works, honestly, because I don't want to mess something up, because I know if I mess something up, then someone's going to yell at me about it, because that always happens on YouTube. But basically, the way that you keep track of torrents is through a torrent tracker. Um, so when you start downloading a torrent, you use the tracker to find other computers that have that torrent downloaded already, and you start downloading it from them. Uh, BitTorrent Sync is basically having your own private tracker. What you do is you download the BitTorrent client. Bit, I'm sorry, you don't download. This is a big thing. You do not need BitTorrent to use BitTorrent Sync. So some people don't understand that BitTorrent can be used for non-illegal purposes, also known as simply legal purposes. There are perfectly genuine purposes for BitTorrent. Service packs are one. You know, Windows, no, you're not supposed to download Windows through BitTorrent. Service packs, you are supposed to download, or even if you're not supposed to download, I don't think you're actually supposed to download those. Linux ISOs. Linux ISOs. A lot of Linux distributions don't have the best free hosting because they are mostly community run. So a lot of Linux distributions simply use BitTorrent because it allows you to, yeah, use multiple people's computers to serve your Linux distribution. And that way you don't have to pay for server space or worry about getting DDoS or anything. You do not actually need BitTorrent, though, to use BitTorrent Sync. Two completely separate programs. Having BitTorrent will not get you BitTorrent Sync. Having BitTorrent Sync will not get you BitTorrent. So if you don't understand anything that I said in the past 30 seconds, uh, with the 30 seconds does not include the beginning of the video. The 30 seconds includes the fact that there are legal purposes for BitTorrent. If you are still one of those, those special people who thinks, oh, if I use BitTorrent, then the government can tell me I'm doing illegal stuff. You don't need to use BitTorrent completely separate program called BitTorrent Sync. So basically you install the BitTorrent Sync software on one computer and BitTorrent Sync will give you a private key. Now it is imperative that you do not share your private key because the private key is how you get access to your files from other computers. What I did was first I went and I signed up on the computer. Yeah, you can see the edge of that computer. I signed up, I downloaded BitTorrent Sync. You actually don't have to sign up. So don't worry about signing up. You don't have to give them your email address. You don't have to give them your name. You don't have to give them anything, all right? All you need to do is download BitTorrent Sync and select an empty folder. Or if you select a full folder, then the thing is everything in the folder will get synced. So you probably want to make an empty folder. Select that empty folder. BitTorrent Sync will give you a key that you can then use on other computers. The next thing I did was I went on that computer back there, which is connected to this monitor and I downloaded BitTorrent Sync on that, and I put in the private key that I got on this computer, and I selected another empty folder on this computer, and now those two folders that are connected to BitTorrent Sync, anything I put into one folder is copied to the other folder. Anything that I take out of that folder goes out of the folder on the other computer too. And this happens over the internet. Well, I think it actually, I, I think it's, 
I'm not sure. It would be pretty cool. I think it might actually just bypass the internet and go through my router because BitTorrent uses IP or torrenting uses IP addresses to track that, which I imagine it could use the local IP addresses. But without getting too complicated, this happens over the internet, computer to computer. BitTorrent servers are not not involved at all. Your files are not even shared with BitTorrent servers. Your your files are not uploaded anywhere but to your other computers. And what's even cooler is let's say you've got one computer here and another computer here and then a third computer. I need to move my diagram. I'll go get my chalkboard. Look at how professional we are. We have a chalkboard. So if you got a computer here and a computer over here, and then a third computer way over here, down down here we'll say, then yeah, if you put a file into computer number one, not only will computer number one send the file to computers two and three, but let's say that computer two gets done downloading it before computer three does. Then computer two will send it to computer three as well. So it's using BitTorrent technology not only to send files between computers, but it's actually using that to increase the speed at which you send files between computers, just like the actual BitTorrent or software does, just like actual torrenting does. And once again, uh, the cloud over here, yeah, the cloud's not even connected to this whole diagram. It's a completely separate thing. Wow, you couldn't even see that. So once again, just to recap, normally when you put a file with writing in it, and other stuff into a computer and you want to sync it with other computers normally what happens is that gets sent to the cloud which downloads it to your other computers that is insecure the cloud can then give it to anybody they want to so instead of doing that take the cloud out of the equation BitTorrent Sync sends your files directly from one computer to the other one no security problems. I mean, I'm sure there are security problems that will be... There are security problems with anything. I mean, it's... The point is, you're not giving your files to any third-party companies. The only person who has access to your files is you, as long as you keep your private key private. So, yeah, this was a quick, short little video, and I thought about making this a screencast, but honestly, I think I illustrated the point pretty well. I will link to the BitTorrent Sync website down below. Once again, remember, it is completely illegal. It does not upload your files to any servers at all. I, it's, it's just really cool. Technically, it's still in beta, but I've been using it, and it works great. And you can actually view all the devices connected to your personal key. So even if someone does get your personal key somehow, then their computer will show up on the list of devices. So you'll know, and you'll be able to change your personal key or get a new one or something. Uh, I actually looked up, or I calculated um, the amount of personal keys that possible with the, like, generation algorithm they're using. It's, like, a number that's higher than I know how to pronounce. So, yeah, there are a whole lot of personal keys out there. It's not like anyone's going to be guessing them or anything like that. So, yeah, once again, I will put a link to that in the description below. I just, I had to share this with you guys because it is, it's new and it's hot topic and it's buzzwordy. And it, it, not only that, it's really, it's a quality service. It's, it's really cool. So like I said, I will put the link to the software down below. Please feel free to try it out. If you use multiple computers and you want files synced between those computers, uh, because it doesn't go to a cloud service, there are absolutely no limitations. There's no free account. You have to pay more for more storage. No. However big your hard drive is, that's how big your shared folder can be because it's not stored anywhere but your computers so obviously if you put a two terabyte file into one computer and another computer only has a 500 gigabyte hard drive then that would be a problem it probably wouldn't sync but yeah as long as your hard drives have enough space then it will it will it's no limitations absolutely free and open is it open source i don't know if it's open source probably not but yeah i'll put a link to it below let me know what you guys think uh, if this was useful to you or if there's anything else you guys want to know about. For now, though, that is all I have to say about this. So I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm under the street, and I will see you later. See ya.